fucked up, Jordan. Ian gets so mad about it. I'll start like working on a project <laughs> while like trying to hold the mic. <laughs> oh God, Dylan Palladino. Do I look cool? You look very really? hip. Mullen always wears glass sunglasses on stage, and it's not fair. He does? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen him on. S- no, I have. He wasn't wearing sunglasses, but it was a very dark room. It was at a uh, whatever the one in Crown Heights. Their show. Oh yeah! Come on, everybody! Come on, everybody! Yeah, yeah that back room is dark. Zero it windows. Is dark. It's very dark. I want, like the I want like clear sunglasses. You know what I mean? <laughs> you want sunglasses? I want that glasses. Aren't sunglasses? I want glasses. He's you gonna get glasses? mad at me for not leaning into the thing. All right. You know what? It's not my fault. You can't fucking spring for clip table clip clip clippers. Okay. If this came out of thing, I'd hold it. You can hold it. Do you do a lean back? Oh, like you got, you're good at the lean back. Here we go. I don't want you to tell there me. There you to go. Do, okay? <laughs> yeah, let her live her life. She'll figure it out. <laughs> we can start whenever you want. I just woke up. I we're woke up. Oh, and we're already rolling. Onto this okay, train. Uh, onto the train. That's what happened. <laughs> well, I can't believe you did. I'm so thankful. You know you what it was? Is you asked me, and I was like, I need to get up and the fuck into Manhattan because I have to fix my hard drive and remove these fucking pieces of shit. You don't like them? They get look them so the good. fuck off me. I yeah, what they're very I impractical. Thinking? Yes, I know. I I filed them down. Really? To practical. And I still hate them. Why? Because I'm a badger. And the way that I eat is with my hands. So there's just always shit under these things. It's disgusting. Yeah. I got a whole ecosystem. <laughs> so I got to fucking, they, they got to be clear so I can see the I salad know. growing. They you know look, I mean? they look great, but I understand. I had them done and I had them really long and I was the most unfunctional person for two weeks. You also feel like a bitch. The way you text, you you text like a bitch. Yeah. You the way you're holding your hands. So then I felt like I was texting like a cunt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'd be like, I'm busy. And yeah. I'd be like, is that, am I busy or are my nails just long? I text, you know what I mean? like you text like a, like a bitch yeah. and then you this? type like an incompetent yes. little 12 no, year old. Just it was nang, fun nang, for one nang, week. Nang. They need to come off immediately. I'm. They are very claustrophobic. Good. I'm glad you're taking them off. The second I leave this place, I will be going <laughs> anywhere. I'll walk out to the first Chinese person I see. Get these off. <laughs> Get them off of me. This is Home Depot. I don't give a fuck. I mean, they do look cool. The flames were fun. And you got that pic. That pic where you look so small. You looked tiny. I know. I, did I mean. It's because I was wearing Mullen's tracksuit and it was. it's way too big on him. Are you guys best friends? Oh, uh, I was on Come Down. Yeah, we're we're close friends. That's nice. It's hard to be close friends with him, but we're <laughs> as close as I can get. <laughs> squirrel brain. <laughs> you have a squirrel brain or he's got a squirrel brain? I have a squirrel brain and he has like a brain that if you... The best time that we can have together is just working on something like a motorcycle. Okay. That's like the best. Okay. Because <laughs> then we're doing impressions. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. But when, you know, it's also where we're, he's like us. Where he's just very much like working, working, working. Yeah, yeah, can't yeah. Can't stop working. Can't or stop. the dark thoughts come in. <laughs> Nothing scares me more than a vacation. You know what I mean? I, I, I mean, you just went to Mexico. It was not a vacation. I was a bridesmaid. I was a slave. I was an indentured servant. <laughs> did you have to do a speech? I had to do a roast. A roast? Yeah. What did you? Why do people do roasts at wedding? Because they're people. That was. I wanted that to be the roast joke. <laughs> I wanted to be like you're the type of people who would have a roast at a wedding. Are you saying don't whisper? Oh, you're saying no, they're bad. Are you so pumped about the Eagles? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, dude, his accent. I can't. You can't. I can't so step Philly. foot into this room without. I got asked recently by my manager if I could do a Philly accent, and I was like, I could probably Google it and try and figure it out. Or now I could just listen to this. Yeah. Bitch talk for. You would be minutes. great with a Philly accent. Yeah. Yeah. How, what? Say something, Fonzie. Use a microphone. Yeah, let's go to Wawa and get some hoagies. That doesn't sound. That sounds crazy. You become a little gay. When yeah. You do it. <laughs> nah, yo, fuck you. Yeah, you do a little gay. Yeah, let's get it. You like put your hit. You kind of went like this, like a little dog. <laughs> on the spot, I got nervous. Let's like, go to Wawa. Let's, let's, let's go to, go to Wawa, Wawa and get some hoagies. Wawa, oh. get some hoagies. Okay, you pretend please. that you're holding things in the corner of your mouth, and that helps. Hoagies. hoagies. It's a small mouth situation. Yes, it is small mouth. Hoagies. So is um. Upstate New York, but it's small mouth, and you have marbles in there. So you're holding it like this. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that sounds like Mississippi. That well, that's very close. That's the thing. Is hick as you get. The <laughs> you're gonna go to Macarbos, go down, get beer. Bub, hey, bub, Joba. They uh, uh, my name in Upstate New York is Joba. 
Joba? Because that, it's easier for them to say the Jordan. Yes, everybody back home calls me Joba. 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 Where's your mom at? She owes me 150 bucks. <laughs> I love that that's the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> oh, my God. All these construction dudes. The funny thing is, you know how you go to like dive bars like kind of ironically? Or you don't think it's ironic, but it is because you're there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All my buddies go to this one bar called The Creeker in Ithaca. The Creeker? Like, yeah. Oh, that's And it's great. so embarrassing because we'll go in there. They're all wearing like fur coats and like dressed up. And we're like, well, the Creeker's the best. That's, you know, $2 beers because they're about to shut down, you know. <laughs> and then I go there and like all these dudes I know are sitting at the bar and they're like, what's up, Joba? Hey, what's going on? And I'm like, no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to, there's a, um, there's a place in uh, San Bruno, which is suburbia. A suburbia dive bar is just the saddest place on earth. It's called the oh. dog's corner. The dog's. No, nothing yeah, with corner. The dog pen or something like that. And it's very bad. And uh, it's just a lot of like uh, football posters from 1997 and 2010. And just like. It's like paper. a comedy club. Yeah. And then they also have like uh, the, the gambling machines that you can do. Ew. Yeah, Where was bad. this? I forget what it's called. It's in San Bruno, my hometown. Oh, yeah. And you go there? Yeah. No. <laughs> no this is anymore. way more cute. It's cute? Yeah, there's a pool table in the back. It has big, you know, it has large crown mold. The dog house. That's, that's what it's called. The dog house. That's dog what you couldn't house. remember. I couldn't remember the dog. That's crazy. <laughs> D- the doggy corner. It's the also- dog box. <laughs> the dog cubicle. <laughs> Fuck. It's also early for me, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, this is early. Oh, I need to tell you what happened. What? Oh my god. Wait, I had something to tell you that happened too. Okay, I'll go first, and then you remember. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> so last night. Na- Yesterday, I'm watching the show Ginny in Georgia. He knows it. It's basically teenagers fucking. It's very upsetting. He's but 19. Don't watch the same thing. You're 19? Yes, he is. How old are you? 24. 24. That's disgusting. Is the same thing. I know. Okay, I know. Well, I was I, watching you know it. Fucking... I didn't know okay, he sorry. watched it. I, I keep know. getting along with kids this age more than. Yeah, because we're immature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. We, but honestly, comics, we can get along with anybody. We get along with people who are. We have to learn to make other people happy. So yeah. we can literally mold but the humor, and get around. the humor that these kids have. Well, we're on the TikTok. What are you going to do? No, no. Like a kid the other day said to me, he goes, when John, no, I won't say that. When a person got on stage, he goes, I could watch this guy eat a whole head of lettuce. And I was like, that's like my humor. But nobody says these things. You know what I mean? Like nobody my age is being like, let me, I want to, I want to feed this man some cabbage. <laughs> you know what I mean? Our age humor is just different than that. We've like out, we out, we've outgrown the absurdity humor, I guess. Yeah. Probably except for the, the I mean, people. yeah, there's like the Steve Martin people. That's absurd humor. Yeah. And then now the young kids. Now it's cool again. Yes. No, it was always cool. Tim and Eric had the weird oh, thing. That's true. I mean, didn't really like Tim and Eric, but you know, there's always <laughs> been the wave of, but we're almost in this generation of people that are like, no, no, seriously, I need to make money. So enough with the weird stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I need like tangible, <laughs> funny. Okay. Tell me yeah. what happened. Okay. So this is what happened. So I stayed up until like 6 a.m. Sun was coming up. I didn't even realize it. I was like, ah, shit. Cause Steve's gone. Oh, so yeah. when Steve's gone, I just do whatever the hell I want. It's wonderful. When you the get freedom. the birds, when you get the birds. Yes. Chirping, they're that's chirping. That's the meanest thing. That's, oh, oh my God. Like, it, am I going to be able to sleep? These yes. are so loud. You yeah. know, so it reminds you of cocaine. I it's, mean, oh God. it's very bad. Yeah. So I go to bed um, and then I didn't plug in my phone. So my phone died and I just forgot to plug my phone. I'm a goddamn adult. Sometimes you forget to plug in your phone. Sometimes okay? you don't want to plug it in. How's I'm that? allowed to not plug in my phone. Yeah. Okay. So then it, I wake up because someone's ringing on my doorbell. Just ringing. It's Ron on. And I was just like, oh, that must be the fucking FedEx guy, whatever. Yeah. And so I slowly get up and I realize it's two o'clock. I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's fine. amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was wa- that's wonderful. My, that's yes. what my body wanted. Oh, so accidentally wake up at two? Hello, mm-hmm. what are we doing? Yeah, it was great. That's all I want. My alarm's set for two. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. I think I had an alarm set for one, but my phone was dead. Look how so long my go. eyelids been twitching. It's been two months now, you see it? Oh, yeah, I do see it. Yeah. Oh, that's very you nice. that's a problem? No, no, Feels no. Feels like a problem. Feels like a problem. Is it coffee? Are you nope. having coffee right now? No, nope. even when I don't have coffee, I have it. <laughs> I've tried everything. <laughs> Twitches all the time. You think that's an issue? <laughs> no, really I think. It's distracting. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Ron so, Ronan's banging your door down. Banging my door down. Ronan. And then he leaves. And so I'm, I sleep naked. So I'm oh. naked and I'm getting ready. I know. Sorry to give you a I didn't know this boner. about you. Guess what I wear. Sorry. What, what do you wear? I should have taken Adderall. <laughs> what do you wear? What do you wear? Tell you me. You have to guess. The guessing is the funnest I part. would say just shorts. Just shorts? Yeah. No top. No top. No, actually, you're self-conscious about your top, so you're probably wearing a top. You're probably just wearing a wife beater and no shorts. Yeah, 
this. You're winning the poo. I'm winning the poo. I fucking knew it. I was like, wait a minute. You know your friend. Come on. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I wear the shirt that you gave me. to a lot too. <laughs> Pollufinator? The pollufinator. <laughs> it's long. So so I can go into the kitchen with it. I was on a uh, softball team in college. And on the front, it said my name, which is Pollufinator. That was my nickname. Um, they used to say Pollufination in progress when I was hooking up with a dude during parties. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it was very fun. Uh, and wow. then I w- we were at a clothing swap and Jordan liked this shirt. And I was like, well. Dude, it's my favorite shirt. Wear it, Jordan. Sometimes I don't wear it because I don't want to hurt it. So you already <laughs> hurt this one. I love it so much. It's so soft. Okay. It is. It's a great shirt, and I'm so glad someone's the actually wearing it. The night we auditioned for the seller, I wore it. Oh yeah, you to did try and get you in and me in. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. if I wear this, yeah, it's this good will make ju-ju. sense. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> but then I think we showed up and we were wearing like the same thing because you had the no, the I was, yeah, I was no, I, you were wearing leather. I was wearing. I have that picture. That's why I got to give you that picture. There's a picture of us being all cute and oh, happy. Oh yeah, yeah, it's very Let's sweet. Frame it. We'll frame it. I want to frame that picture. Mikey doing late night. Yeah. Not me doing late night, but Mikey. Why? You did a great job at late night. Your late uh, night was killer. I hated it. You hated it? I hated it. No. They, they paid me eleven hundred bucks, and there's no hotel or travel, so oh, I was I know. like really annoyed. But the actual TV part you liked? No. No. The fake microphone. Oh, I loved it. You liked the fake microphone. I didn't like the There's fake no microphone. Reverb? I like doing the set. It's like the it's oh, like adrenaline. No, it felt them. it brought me back to sports, playing sports. Like you better show up. It felt good. Oh wow, I was mm. not like that. I was tired, and they're like, "Go!" And I was like, "All right, hi." <laughs> like I did not, and it was just this stupid audience that was like, ah, "It's your big day." And I was like, "It's not my big day. It's not my big day. It's not my birthday." <laughs> It was your big day. It was not. It was your big day. No, my, Jordan showed up for a big day. My big day is when I record. Is like is like um like JFL. I was like, this is a big day, and then you know what I mean. And then oh, I, would, I was yeah, I hated JFL. Yeah, see, because yeah. it's the other way around. Yeah. So JFL, I got it at the right time. Whereas late night, I feel like I should have done it years ago when I was still excited. Yeah. And then this, I was just like, this is gay. <laughs> And I can't believe that guy just said this podcast is brilliant. He has no idea how politically incorrect it is. The sign he's holding up is. It's he could get canceled for holding that sign. Um, okay. So oh, okay. Ronan's knocking at your door. Knocking at my door. Then he disappears. And I'm just like, oh, getting up, thinking, because I was expecting my stickers, so I thought it was the FedEx guy. Yeah. And so I'm getting I'm like slowly getting and my cats are fucking crazy. And so they're all over me. And then um and then he comes in. He just comes into the house. He comes into my apartment because he has keys. He comes in. He goes, Caitlin. And I was like, yeah, I'm here. Give me a minute. (laughs) I'm naked. So I quickly get dressed and I come out. And um, he was like, yeah, you're apparently your mom has been trying to get a hold of you and she can't get a hold of you. And she freaked out and she thought you were dead. So they asked me to do a wellness check on you. Dude, come on. I mean, I am a grown woman. I am a big girl. And (laughs) she, she apparently had tried to call me. But she couldn't get a hold of me. And then she checked on, like, I have my location on. So they like to see yeah. where I am. Yeah. Because they see what cities I'm in, whatever. So I leave it on for oh them. They like it. God. She saw that it was still in Manhattan for some reason. There was some glitch. And so it oh. said that I was still in Manhattan. So she's like, she died on the train. Okay, that and makes sense. That makes sense. No, it doesn't make yes, sense. Yes, it does. Because then she calls Steve. And I'm Steve is husband. a little anxious butterfly. He's just freaking out. And he's just like, I'm going to call Ron on to make sure you're alive. I'm so sorry. You know what I don't like about this? Ugh. I want Steve to assume you're cheating on him. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I'm in fucking Manhattan on the location, then assume that I'm fucking somebody else. Not that I'm dead. What do you think? What do you think? I'm not capable of keeping myself alive. I'm capable of fucking whoever I want. <laughs> Especially a Manhattan guy. You broke ass Astoria. Yeah. 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 Why didn't he think I was cheating? What yeah. the hell? Um, you know what? I'm a, I'm a snack. You know what? I bet he did. No. Yeah, but you know, it's easier to be like, are you okay? The amount yeah. of times I've sent off that text, are you okay? <laughs> are you currently inside of a woman? AKA, are you alive? <laughs> you ever get the, are you alive text? <laughs> Nothing makes me more mad than the, are you alive text? Like, yes, dude, are you alive? Because yeah. you are somebody who thinks it's okay to text people who are blowing you off. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is the worst. Well, I'm I'm obviously not blowing off Steve. I'm going to marry him. Although you were blowing everybody off, and you get to do that. I know. you were sleeping. I got I get to you get to fucking sleep. That's I what will I, say that if my if my daughter lived in Manhattan, lived in New York, <laughs> and I look and see that she hasn't moved locations from Manhattan, I would assume a sleepover. But I would I would I could imagine my OCD yeah. getting whipped into shape. 
getting whipped out into a frenzy. Yeah. I just got into a screaming match with my mom yesterday. She's really? A bitch. What about? She's the best, but she's a bitch. Um, <laughs> Your mom is terrifying. Oh my God. She's so I scary. love her, but every time I see her and I know that I need to come over and say hi, not need to, but I want to come over and say hi. And then I come over and I'm always like, as soon as I we make eye contact, I'm like, no shit. She's so scary. <laughs> retreat, retreat. That's why I'm I'm like so fucked up about being in a fight with her right now. She well, I fixed the whole fight because Michael Rowland, mm -hmm. who's on the the set of Animal. Oh, he's back up in Canada? He was here for a week. Yeah. I, I thought him. he was home. Do you know that I thought that? Yeah, you I thought, thought he was done. Oh, forever. I thought he was done filming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It had only been yeah. two months. It was a short visit. It was awful. And, oh. then, he went, and then he left again for another month. I think oh, he's coming back today, that. hopefully. Oh, that's but good. But he sent me a video of him petting a pig. I love <gasps> pigs, and I call Mike Pig Man. <laughs> so he's petting a video of him petting a pig on set, going, little pig man, little pig man. And I was losing my mind. The pig is trying to get pets so hardcore like yeah. it, it's so i will never eat pork again after seeing this video yes you will and after i'm not going to i'm not <laughs> I going you to might. i'm not going to i'm gonna feed you bacon <laughs> it's already really hard for me to eat it my i almost somebody gave me a bite of veal yesterday and i like oh couldn't eat it yeah God. i can't do it feels tough veal is tough it's actually yeah. not tough it's very no tender. no it's very tender <laughs> okay. but it's a um, rough one to mentally Carp it's really tough. Carpment pentalized. But after, I'll show you the pig Whatever. and I'll stop eating pork forever. <laughs> and you'll see the way it's desperately trying to get pets. And <laughs> it's so cute. And I sent that to my mom. So I think it's water under the bridge. Okay, she was that's like, good. Because she also was, you know. She loves pigs she, as well. She has the animal thing as well. Yeah. So What'd you, just, you guys fight about? Okay, so my sister's husband is cheating on my, uh, has been cheating on my sister for a long time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so now they're going through the courts thing, right? Oh, that's rough. And my whole thing is I'm like, there's a kid involved. Mm -hmm. My niece, who's a perfect angel, little Guido, incredible yeah. child. I love her to death. She's the best part of the whole family. I don't know how she came out of my sister. She's amazing. <laughs> and she's, um, and I'm like, can we just, because my sister's mentally ill, she has rage problems mm -hmm. and is like a psycho. And then I'm mentally ill because I date dudes who despise me and have <laughs> horrible attachment issues, right? So I'm like, hey, both of these things were caused by our parents doing exactly what's going on right now. So can we just not do yeah. that? Mm -hmm. And instead, my mom and sister are like doubling down. Like we need to fight. and Like fight to the death. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. fight to like you know completely separate father from child, which mm. is like, you know, and I can't say like, he is a bad dude. I mean, he did a lot of bad shit. Yeah. But in my opinion, I'm like, they had a bad marriage. He's not a bad father. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, now he's showing up as a father for the first, you know, and I'm like, dude, can we not, if you villainize this dude's kid, even though you hate him, she will pick up on that yeah. from like a hundred miles away. Mm -hmm. It gets, it gets into their little psyches. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you can say he's bad, but can we not do this like perversion thing? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's kind of what they're doing. Like he's a bad, yeah, yeah. Dark, yeah. Deep seated, yeah, just all bad, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. fucks people up. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, can we just put on a big ass play here and just pretend that he's gonna work his shit out, and just in the meantime, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, the, so we got into a big fight about that because I'm kind of, it, I, I keep playing that side, mm -hmm. and they keep calling and being like, you'll never guess what we found. There's another phone call he made, and I'm like, this is, <laughs> I mean, literally the other day I was like, I called my mom and she was like, we're tailing Dave. And I was like, what? Tailing? Yep. And I was like, what? And she goes, we're wearing baseball caps and hangs up on me. Oh, my God. I mean, it's just God. like crazy. If your mom was tailing me, I'd shit. Yeah. I w if you turned around and you just saw your mom in a baseball cap. She was tailing him in my other mom's car. <laughs> I'd shit my pants. She was ta I called my other mom, who's the normal one, and I'm like, yo, what is happening? And she's like, it's okay. I gave them my car. And I was like, what is wrong with all of you people? <laughs> So we'll see, but that's yeah, that's the fight, and we're not. But the pig video, I think, I think the pig is gonna save it. Oh my god! And you hear Mike in the video go, "Hi, little guy, I'm gonna send this to my roommate, and she's gonna freak the fuck out." <laughs> and he sends it to me, and I was like, yeah! <laughs> "Why is he trying to get pets? Why does he want the pets?" Of it's, course he wants the pets. No, but he wants them in a way that you wouldn't expect. He <laughs> wants them like a retriever. You wouldn't, you think livestock is livestock. You're yeah. like, sure, everybody likes to be scritched, but you got to approach them for the, yeah. this thing is Put like your palm out greedy. Yeah. yeah. This thing is like, get thirsty. Come here, come here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never eating one again. If anything, I'm going to own one and then I'll eat it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna own it Name first. it bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. So Are I'm you a vegetarian? No, I really want to be though, cause, except for chicken. I hate chickens, but yeah, chickens are dumb. I just don't even like them as creatures. I think they're evil and yeah, they eat, eat each other. They, they eat each to... other. 
Yeah, they'll peck each other to death. They'll eat their kids. Oh. They suck. I mean, fish I feel more bad about than chickens. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't mind, you know, even shrimp. I'm like, they didn't do anything to me. But chickens, <laughs> I'm like, you guys need to die immediately. I think chickens are the only meat I'm eating right now because I gave up red meat. That's yeah, yeah. Thing. I gave up red meat a while ago, but I also have bites of it, like the lamb. Oh, I'll boy. Eat sometimes, but Can I feel so Can you eat bad. a lamb? They're so no. sweet looking. Talk I about wanting wanna pets. Eat, I don't want to drink milk anymore. I want to be a complete vegan because of this whole goddamn this baby pump, fever yeah. I have. You have baby fever? No, but it's animal fever. It's like this. I'm like, you know, all. Yeah, this, yeah, I feel yeah. like I've done so many mushrooms that I'm all of a sudden like, this is crazy <laughs> that we eat these things. They have eyeballs. They want pets. They want to be brushed with a brush. Yeah. Who am I to eat them? Are you still doing a lot of mushrooms? You were doing them f- almost every day? Okay. No. Yeah, I had to stop because eventually they tell you you have to stop. Yeah? Yeah. I've only taken them once and I took a very small dose and I just felt like... Yeah, ah, they are it. really helpful. No, I I've, I've t- I run now, so I get the same feeling when I'm running. Yeah? The runner's high is the same as like a medium dosage. Do you run when it's cold? Yeah. <laughs> It's the best. <laughs> That's the best. I wear gloves, shorts, sports bra, sneakers. Your hands are so cold, by the All way. All the time. Are you okay? Do you have circulation issues? Yes, I have ray nuts is what it's called. Ray nuts? I, I don't get blood into my fingers. Some, oh, God. Yeah. No, right now, there's a, there's a good good amount in there, but sometimes there's just like a white line. How does that... Why? <laughs> oh. From Brianna has it, too. It's so weird when it happens. It's just like a... It's just like a... Maybe because they're so long. Like you do vibrant. have long. You have large hands. Yeah, maybe it takes a while to get it's in. Beautiful. There. Thank you. So beautiful much. large hands. Thank you so much. Yes, fantastic. Maybe from smoking so many cigs when I was younger. Doobies. No, oh, God, cigs. no. I saw a guy outside smoking a bowl. What time is it? Oh, <laughs> it's not the worst. He was outside a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Oh, get the fuck out of here. A bowl. I hate like weed. even with the glass. Yeah, a little uh, yeah. tiny one, and he was just outside a restaurant hitting it. I was like, oh, now you're high and you still work there. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I Nothing could never worse. do, I can't do any function while I'm on some bed. sort of substance or even drunk. Like I can't even do it. Like I can't be drunk on stage. I can't be drunk. Yeah. Doing day drunk is my least favorite. Feeling. It's awful. Cause then you want to go to bed at five o'clock. If I'm in the water all day, I can be a little drunk. You know what I mean? Cause you have something keeping you like a, a literally afloat actually. It's <laughs> keeping you up. Right. But I hate the beach for that reason. I'm like, I know I'm just tired and laying in the sand. I, I can do the beach for two hours. That's it. Then two I hours leave. is. What are we doing? Unless People, you bring the chairs. I mean, if we bring the chairs, give me shade. I need shade. It's too I hot. I can't be laying too down much. that and flat. And then you, you get all sticky, and yeah. then it just it sticks to your body. You know what I, I would it. do is I would drive my truck to Jacob Reese uh-huh. after a hot work day, jump in the ocean, get in the truck, and just allow my truck to be a place where sand was, <laughs> and it was okay. You know what I mean? Because yeah. then every, once every two weeks you you cruise through the car wash thing. The Mexican guys get in there with the where yes. they, nine of them climb into the truck mm-hmm. and they vacuum it all out. Yes. They'll vacuum up just ten dollar bill. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> and I love that. They'll, my whole drywall, I mean, whole like bits that I was using for like mm-hmm. impact drivers, they'll just vacuum them up. And I'm like, all right, I just have to buy another $20. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. That was my that fault. Was I shouldn't have kept that yeah. there. <laughs> you did a good job. Fella. Yes. Yeah. Um, I on, get that. I had my friend come in and do that to my house the other day. A bad job. We have a cleaning lady. Oh my god! Yeah, I think we need to get one. It's a game changer. We've only had her over twice, and every time when I come home, I'm just like, "This is love." It's Who is beautiful. She? How much is she? Is she she's Astoria? she's not in Astoria. She's the same one that Liz and Mateo use. And uh, Mateo's really spreading the love. I just bought his meal plan things that he had. Oh, you're doing the meal plans? And not the meal plans, but those just like prepackaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what that is? Is jail food. It's true. That's exactly how food comes in jail. Yeah. Yeah. With a peel off like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's but, like a TV dinner. You say jail food. I say TV dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've never had a TV dinner. Yeah. You've never had a TV dinner? No way. Oh, you had good parents. No, no, no. We had like, you know, uh, uh, mac and cheese. TV dinner was like too, like my dad was a hippie, but he didn't yeah. have any money. So a TV dinner was like too on the nose for bad dad that he'd be like, no, I'm giving him fruit. And it was like a can of fruit cocktail. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It was like that. Yeah. It was always a big deal when we got to do like a TV dinner because my parents, they were good parents. They cooked meals every time. But sometimes on the weekends, my mom was like, fuck this. And it was a peel off. It was a peel off. Or you uh, put fork holes in it. Ching, 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 ching. And then you put it in the microwave and you heat it up for about three minutes and then you got wow. yourself mac and cheese and a brownie and then some sort of Whoa. vegetable that you didn't eat yeah it was great yeah the vegetables in this are pretty gross but yeah. it comes with sweet potatoes chicken 
Which for me, yeah, you get a salad later. Yeah, good. when I'm on uh, the road with Mateo, we eat those all the time because he gets them sent to his. Hotel. The road is the problem. Yes, I. This is what. I, ooh, <laughs> I'm holding your hand again. Yes. Um. When uh. So every time I go to a new place, the first thing I don't even take off my jacket. I put everything down. Store. I go to the grocery store. I know. I got to do it. You got to do it. It's but great. Then you Uber. And then you Uber there. Then you Uber back. Or I just look for one that I can walk to. Well, it depends if, on where you're going. Yeah, what if you're in fucking... I, everywhere I've been, I've been in like a city. Yeah, I've been in Montreal. Here's what Montreal I do. Was I don't eat one. all day, and then I get to the green room, and I eat a bag of candy. <laughs> Is that good? I think that's pretty good. That's a I good way to get good. diabetes. I yeah. Think. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's why your fingers are so cold. Yeah, that could be. <laughs> that could be. I just... It's either I run or I diet. I can't do yeah, both. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I get yeah. that. I, I'm right now, I'm doing both and walking yeah, up the stairs. Incredible. Thank you so much. But I was walking up the stairs and I was, I got like tired. Like my legs hurt. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. I was my like, knees are sore. Fuck me. This yeah. is awful. But I have lost, uh, I believe now it's 12 pounds. Yeah, you look incredible. Thank you. But you also, not just the weight, your face looks amazing. Thank you. I quit eating sugar and it just, I got fatter. It was worse because <laughs> I ate way more of everything else. Yeah. And I then that. I started eating sugar again and dropped the weight. The problem with me is I have to be on Prozac or I'm out of control. Prozac makes me gain weight. Are you on Prozac right now? Yeah. Okay. Back on it. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> it got bad there for a no. second. Oh, boy. My OCD. Dude, I was doing shit like this. I have this. Th I have like little ones. Like I'll, uh, if I look in the mirror at a bathroom mm -hmm. and then I leave. Sometimes it'll be like, no, you have to go back and get a different look because that's a wrong look because and you're going to be an evil person if you don't look back. It's oh, really bad. Oh, I see. And, I, and that's like one that I'm typically able to be like, fuck you. And I keep going. Mm -hmm. But dude, I got off the Prozac and I'm walking like I'm all the way at my gate at the fucking airport. And I'm like, no. Nope. And I have to go back to the same bathroom I was at. And the same. it's real. And I was wow. like, yeah, we got to get this shit back going. That was fun. <laughs> but holy shit. I always think I can get off it because yeah. I'm like, I'm better. Yeah. And then I get off it and I start fucking doing the weird shit yeah so i had to fucking get back on it so now i'm back in the is that how you missed your flight in austin did i miss my flight <laughs> on your, your flight home did i miss it yeah <laughs> what were we doing no it, you were with ethan and mateo yeah and then they were all going to the airport and you missed your flight home and so you had to buy another flight you texted me about this i missed it <laughs> i slept must have slept. It's always sleep. I've missed a few flights. It's a lot of sleep. Sometimes it's nice when you wake up and you're like, fuck it, I missed it, and I'm gonna sleep for nine hours. And then the and then the lady comes and is like, You can't be here. And you're like, Fuck, I forgot. I forgot. I miss my flight. Jordan, I love you. I shouldn't be alive. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I have to get so good at comedy so that I can just have handlers all the time. Jake is really helpful on the road. Really helpful. Yeah. He's a very patient boy. Yeah. Yeah, very sweet. <laughs> we went to New York Comedy Club and he said, me and Steve come in and he goes, hey, Steve, you want to play video games? Oh my God. And so they go up to the corner and they're playing video games together. My Jakey? Yes. Really? It was very sweet. Oh my God, I love him so much. They're playing Mario Kart. <laughs> he is the best. He is, yeah, he's the best. He's so good. The other day, you know how that dude keeps breaking up with me? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm in bed and the dude dumps me again and I go, fuck. No! No, no, no. This is like a while ago. Okay. This is like pre, the, you know. Okay. And then I was like, fuck. But it did happen the other day. Okay. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I was like, fuck. And Jake goes, <laughs> I was like, fuck. So and so just dumped me again. And he goes, okay, I'm going to stand up. Because <laughs> he like can't handle <laughs> emotional stuff that much. He's like, I'm going to stand up. I can't. And he puts his hand on me and he's like, I, I, uh, I'm so sorry. Can I get you snack? <laughs> And I was like, I don't need a snack. He's like, water. He was like, okay. He's like, he's like, do you want to just, you want me to leave? You want me to leave you alone? And I was like, yes. And he's like, okay. And then he just like puts his hand on me again. He's like, okay. <laughs> he like can't. He's very cagey when it comes to emotional stuff, but he's yeah. the sweetest. He, he's the best. He's the best. And I'll wake up and I'll be like, I got you two coffees. Please, can you get out of bed so we can play? And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's only 1 p.m., dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's very sweet yeah he's the best he broke up with you again jordan I'm how many times table. we're at nine now well the other day it was i was you know did a whole you did a whole song and dance oh yeah remember, it was the night that i saw you at the cellar okay and we didn't talk yeah i just had oh right right, right. Thing, yeah. okay all right 
And then whenever I have the meltdown, it's funny. I have the meltdowns because of how much he's broken up with me, and he breaks up with me because I have the meltdowns, and they round and round. And I go, yeah. And do you think it's gonna stick this time? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck do you think? I think it's just gonna keep happening until you get married. Yeah. Or <laughs> yeah. Or die. Or fucking yeah. finally get my wits about me. <laughs> yeah, it's Christ. gonna have to be you. I'm sorry. I don't to think get it's gonna be that guy. Me. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. 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 I mean, I also like I think in the same way that I have the meltdowns, he does the breaking up. You yeah. know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I like it's almost like a it's a symbiotic re relationship. Well, it's like, you know, do you ever like start fighting? I don't know if you have this because you were raised well, but like I have this thing <laughs> where like if I start a fight and I know I'm not in the right at all, mm -hmm. I'll just double down and do this like, Ooh, wah, ah, you know what yeah. I mean? And just go crazy and be like, da -da 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 -da. oh, yeah, I'll bring up shit from like three months ago and be like, yeah. hey, remember when you did this? Yes. Like, yeah, but you still cheated on me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Except I didn't. I didn't cheat on him. Yes, OK, yes. I wasn't in Manhattan. In I was Manhattan home watching Ginny and Georgia. <laughs> fucking a guy in Manhattan. Everybody's worried because nobody's got respect for you. <laughs> I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off at your mom. I Everybody should have thought you were getting your dick wet. <laughs> If I'm in Manhattan and nobody can find me, I'm not dead, okay? I am having amazing sex. And if I am dead, leave me alone. That's where I want to be anyway. <laughs> You're never going to find me. I want to be me. fucking or I want to be dead. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. So that's what I think it is also mm -hmm. for him where it's just like a fuck it all. It's done. Yeah. Because he knows that's the thing that will get me the most. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think there's a part of that. But yeah, there isn't a lot of... I Someone told me the person who has the most... Power in the relationship is the person who cares the least. Yeah. I'm and getting there. I'm getting worn down enough. Yeah. 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 Well, just don't give a shit and then you'll have all the power. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Prozac does that, but this does it to a point too much. Yeah. Where like a car almost hits you and you're like, that was <laughs> like, I literally got my uh, truck ran into an outdoor dining thing we were in and I did not <laughs> jump to my feet. Everybody else f fled. <laughs> Things were falling on me. Th like giant pots were falling on top of me. I just sat there and was just like, yeah, I mean, what am I going to do? R flee? Scream? <laughs> I mean, this is gay. I just want my food to not have glass in it. <laughs> Did it hit it that hard? Yes, dude. Brianna, who was sitting with me, screamed and everybody ran to safety. And I was <laughs> sitting like this. I do. It does not. It takes away any fear response ever. That, it's rules. It's uh, <laughs> what I find is like, so things will happen to me. This has happened to me multiple times where someone like either is like creeps up behind me yeah. or something scary happens and I just don't react. And I look and they're like, wow, you're tough as hell. And I was like, I have slow reaction yes. reflexes. Yes, yes, <laughs> I have just like, and then like for, we're talking and I was just like in my head, I'm like, ah! <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> but it could I was be like, depression. Oh, it could be had. low level depression. Maybe. I mean, sometimes I've thought that. Yeah. Like when somebody jumps out, some, if somebody will walk up to me at an airport, this has happened a lot, and they'll be like, Jordan. <laughs> and they're like, somebody I know. And I'm like, yeah, what? We're like, we're comics. We go to airport. You know what I mean? And then a minute later, I'm like, oh, no, that is a coincidence. I should have emoted. But <laughs> like, I just saw Usama. I walked by him on the street and I just punched him in the stomach and kept walking. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I don't care. This guy, w w these two lesbians were making out on the train last night. Making out, it was so disgusting because they're lesbians. No, I'm just kidding. Because they're people. <laughs> it was so gross the you way saw they were spit? doing it. I hate it. No, it was that one was like in the other one's arms, so they were like cradling them, and then sh they were making out like that, like like babies, like Gone with the Wind. What? Like Gone with the Wind, like holding her, holding her like this, like a. Baby. Yeah, but like to the point that you're like you have to let her up for air because you're on top. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're not both coming in. And then there was a guy who was just like basically slowly getting his dick out. This old weird guy who was just standing oh. on the train kind of like slowly pulling his pants down. Huge, gross, homeless guy. Oh. And I was like, that's right. <laughs> They're wrong. You Correct. know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you're doing that, they were like hot 24-year-old girls. Oh, God. I was like, he gets... I'm going to do that, too. Yeah. And I'm going to join him. I'm going to jerk this dude off at yeah. these women. But I think things like I don't know why I brought that up. Well, oh, yeah, that I wasn't I wasn't moving at all as this guy was getting his dick out. I was just like, I don't I do think a part of it is. Yeah. Com with comedians, we have to get our emotions up so high and so low at yeah. different times mm -hmm. that when we don't need to, we're like, I'm going to keep it yeah. at a solid zero. This is fine. Yeah. Yeah. One time there was this homeless guy sitting next to me and he fell asleep on my shoulder and I was just like, everybody around us left. And I was just like, well, I'm taking a nap, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Have a nice sleep. That's the best. And then another time, a guy was sitting, not as close. He wasn't on my shoulder, but he was still next to me. And he started freaking out on the train. He started fighting the pole. 
And I just yeah, sat fight there the pole. and I just watched him. Yeah. And then I got up and this group of black teenagers were just like, I can't believe you stayed there. And I was just like, yeah. Fighting the pole. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. I would have left. And I was like, no, you're just kind of, he's not going after me. He's no just, way. He's got bigger. That pole yeah. is being a dick. <laughs> that pole is saying some shit to him that you yeah. can't even hear. Let him talk. Let it's, him talk. They'll I talk saw it in out. Detroit this old this homeless guy screaming at nobody, just mm -hmm. an imaginary friend next to him screaming. I've never seen this in my life. He's screaming, and then a group of other homeless men, like a whole group in a circle, were like, "Hey, Jimbo, come over here!" And he goes, "No, I'm busy," and he keeps yelling. I'm like, I've never seen somebody turn down <laughs> real friends. You think they're talking to an imaginary friend because they don't have other friends? Yeah. And this whole group was like, "Get over here!" And he was like, "No, we gotta work this out first. Me and this guy. <laughs> it was wild. It made me be like, "Oh yeah, this really is." Is a, they truly believe this. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. It's inside of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God bless. Yeah. I wish I believed in anything half as much as that. I know. <laughs> I wish I believed in myself yeah. half as much as they believe in that. No, I believe my person. inner voice more than any person outside of me. That is the problem. Yeah. The, you're a stupid, big, fat idiot. Yeah. That guy. Like, yeah, oh, no. Don't listen That's why to I'm that. not yelling at that person. I'm not like, get that, get out of here. I'm like, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Shh. Just don't talk just, right now. Just you talk to me when I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait till 4 a.m. Wait yeah. till 4 a.m. <laughs> All right, Jordan, we did it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Where can people find you, Jordan? Okay, when does this come out? Tomorrow. Okay, hilarities, please, for the love of God, it's a last night show announcement, so please buy tickets if you're in Cleveland. And then um, that that's for the third and fourth coming up here. And then after that, I'm in Laugh Boston the following weekend. Uh, listen to B&E in with Jordan. It's my podcast with Ian Fidance. It's insane. And I'm on Instagram and TikTok at Jordan Jensen, LOL stop. I'm now on Twitter, but it's a hidden Easter egg. You have to find it. <gasps> Fonzie knows where it is. What? Why is it a hidden Easter egg? Because it's a hidden Twitter because I say really fucked up things on there. So good luck. <laughs> How do you do a hidden Twitter? What do you mean? It's not my real name. Oh, it's not your real name. I get it. Yeah. Okay, I'll find I mean, it. I can say whatever I want on there. That's you know true. I mean? It's you the best feeling it. ever. It's not linked to me. <laughs> it's the best. All right. All right. Uh, well, you can technically say whatever you want. Oh, you should want. I hide it on this one? This is a good place to hide it. Plug it. To plug the fake one? Because eventually it needs to slowly eke out. What do you think, Fonz? You post it on your Instagram story every now and then. I know, but nobody thinks that's me. Nobody thinks it's me. They're like, this guy rules. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he does. Who All is right. it? Huh? My, my fans are fun. They're fun. They're fun. Uh, they're women. <laughs> no, I get a mix. Really? It's women, gay men, and men who want to see me naked. Okay. And they like beefy women. So <laughs> they're All fucking right. cool. I think it's, what is it? Big Boy Wombus? Big Boy Wombus. <laughs> You don't remember what the fuck, dude? George Bishop or some shit. Oh, George Bishop! George Bishop. Holy Let's shit, go. dude! Let's go! <laughs> wow. Well, go follow George Bishop and Jordan <laughs> Jensen. I love you all. Goodbye. Bye. That was so fun.